G'day everybody, it's your pal Kieran Murphy here for Kieran Sports Vlogs here and welcome to the 58th episode of the vlog. Now, um, as you already know, um, tomorrow I will be going to Penrith um, very early because I'm going to the Leeds Club to watch um, the radio stars from 2GB. Yeah, and um, and after that I will be going to Bluebird Stadium and not only that I'll be, not only I'll be be the game will be the Premier Panthers versus the Cowboys, but I'll for playing dry time. So, anyways, um, I'll be ready to go to bed. So, I'll see you on the next day, everyone. All right, guys. Um, I just have arrived at the Leeds Club. Um, um, but after that, I will be going to Blue Bed. Yeah. Um, I just got dry time. Also on, I'll be getting changed. Hell yeah, because the IB uh, is 2GB radio sync for that. Yeah, yeah, so anyway, we're gonna have a lot of fun for that. So enjoy. As Melbourne beat Brisbane 32 22 at Suncorp, and it's reignited the debate about a buy round before the finals. What do we think, folks? Buy round before the finals? Yeah, yeah. 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 I tend to agree with you. Jakey Trebojevic, he's got a try in his 200th as Manly thumped the West Tigers 54 to 12. And a turbulent week got even worse for South Sydney as the Rabbitohs beat, uh, were beaten by the arch rivals, the Roosters, 26 to 12. So, state of play at the moment. The top four teams are locked in. We just need to determine the final order. The Panthers and Broncos will finish either first or second. The Warriors and the Storm will finish either third or fourth. The Knights and the Sharks are assured of a top eight spot with two of the Raiders, Roosters and Cowboys to make up the rest of the eight after the Rabbitohs were bundled out last night. So in other words, four of the five games left over the weekend all have a bearing on the finals. And the place to hear them is right here with the continuous call team. Of course, we'd love to hear from you along the way. The number to call 131 873. You can email us via the website where you click on the feedback icon and that text line's up and running on 0460 873 873. And like we've done over the last couple of weeks, if you've got some junior grand final sporting results you'd like us to mention, we're more than happy to do that for you. And I want to kick the show off with one from Joy down in June, who says, could you... Okay guys, um, I'm in Blue Bit Stadium right now. Um, I just got dressed in this gear now. Yeah. Um, so anyways, um, I'll be off onto the field. I gotta put my head gear on and I got my football shoes on. Yeah, so anyways, um, see you when I finish with this game. And then after that, it will be the Panthers versus Cowboys after we finish. Alright guys, um, I just finished for the try time thing. Well, as you already know, we already won! Yep, baby! <laughs> Score of one try. Yeah, by a promise. Yeah. So anyways, I already got changed to the Panthers clothing now. Yep. <laughs> so anyways, now on to the Panthers for the Cowboys. Alright guys, it's first half right now. Um, yeah, so I think the Panthers are doing good. So anyways, let's see how they're doing. Alright guys, it's definitely half time right now. Um, Panthers 26, Cowboys nil. See you in second half everyone. Oh, we're gonna get a minor apprenticeship for this year. Alright guys, it's second half right now. So anyways, let's see how they're doing.
Tony Green, the chairman of the Pinnacle Okay, guys, it's time for the presentation for the Mighty Prettiest. Making history here tonight. It's not easy. This is the first time we've played 27 rounds of Mineral Premiership. And uh, obviously, we have now members taking out the Mighty Premiership for the fifth time in our history. So, congratulations to everyone at the front. I'd like to acknowledge a few things uh, that this club has achieved. First of all, to the leadership group, to the chairman, Peter Graham, Brian Fletcher, Matt Cameron, of course the coaching staff and all the players, and of course everyone and fans out in the stands. You've been terrific this season, showing the support for this club week in, week out with record crowds. So congratulations to everyone at the club. Woo! In order to win a Monday Premiership though, uh, you need a lot of things, you need strategy, um, you need discipline and you need effort and teamwork. I'd like to acknowledge, and I'm not sure if you know this, but this team, the Penrith Panthers, have had 54% possession this year. That's 3% more than any other club, which really shows effective strategy. And 83% completion rate in a sense, which is 2% higher than any other club in the competition. You scored more points than any other club. And on top of that all, you've had 45,000 meters with the ball in hand. Wow. That is 10% higher than any other club. And it's very difficult to single out any individual for such a phenomenal team effort. But I would like to acknowledge just how unified this team is. Dylan Edwards at the fullback full has made 193 assists. <laughs> Love you, Edwards! We're achieving this monumental effort this season. Of course, the season's not finished, and we all are looking forward to the final series. And I'd like to call on the co-captains to come and say a few words and uh, accept the minor premiership seat. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching for this vlog of the final regular season of NRL in 2023. Yep, so next week it's going to be in the finals. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe for more vlogs. So anyways, this is Kieran, over and out. Peace to you and have a good night everyone.